everyone and welcome to this vlog from Oxford Street. It is looking very festive this evening. And yes, as per the title's video, we are outside Selfridges. Now it is a weeknight, so it's definitely gonna be busier if you're coming at the weekend, so do bear that in mind. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you everything that is, oh, that's some blue lighting. Um, everything that is festive. Um, if you haven't seen, I think I did this last year, yeah, I did. Um, I'll link a couple of other Selfridges vlogs at the end and also in the description, but let's head on. And I'm gonna show you the windows. I always get a little bit underwhelmed by the windows, but let's start with that. And as the afternoon tea buses pass, they're so cute, look at this. How adorable is that? And then there's another one over here that is lit up. I think I showed this the other day on Regent Street. It's so cute. Let's start with some of the windows. And this was up for debate a bit last year because I showed the windows and they're not usually that festive. Um, they do tend to be branded. So for example, this one here, if you look to the bottom right, is Bespoke Tailor Suits by J.W. Anderson, which is a designer. I'm not gonna show you all of them, but just the vibe but it is pretty busy this evening. But now that's a little bit festive, isn't it? I do like a window when there's like something mechanical in it. There also is a like Christmas market around the back. So once we've gone around the edge, I'll show you the Christmas market for sure. I think I showed you this one the other day. I'm not sure about the, the clapping hands. <laughs> and it wouldn't be a department store Christmas window without some kind of alcohol. But this is the main entrance. Can you see that just about? There's some big pillars, such a stunning building and the lights of Oxford Street this year. I really do like them. I like that they did put branding on them. They are so cute. They twinkle a bit more in real life. Nice and wiggly in the in the wind. Um, okay. <laughs> I do like more traditional windows. It's just my personal preference and I've had quite a lot of comments from the, uh, on the FNM vlog and also on the Harris vlog. So thanks guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. But Selfridges is a little bit more about the fashion is a little bit more stylized just in different ways so um yeah you're not gonna see a mechanical mouse eating cheese under the christmas tree or anything like that but that's a very pretty little display there isn't there lots of fancy gift i like the sparkly background we've got this kind of oyster opening to some very premium sparkly jewelry a bit of inspo for the christmas party endless gifts for everyone on your list that's quite a nice little window with the the crab claws, lobsters, I'm not sure. A few little fun things. Now the one on the corner I've walked past quite a few times and it's got like a wiggly tree in it. Is it still wiggling? Yeah, what is this all about? Um, I mean, I guess if you have a cat, that's kind of what happens, right? <laughs> I mean, it's made me laugh a few times when I have walked past and then we've got like the waving or clapping hands. Waving, we'll say they're waving. Oh, hold on. Hidden Mickey. <laughs> He didn't elect to do his uh, year in industry. And those are pretty much the windows. There's some more kind of generic ones down the side, but I've shown you the full front of Oxford Street. Um, I'm trying to be a bit more positive here. I understand that salvages don't tend to do traditional, um, but some of those are kind of fun. I think the Christmas tree is my favourite. And this is behind Selfridges, that you got the car park there. And this is a little festival um, Christmas market that they've set up. They didn't have it last year. Looks quite sweet, doesn't it? So let's have a quick look. And we've got some different food stalls, got like a beer station over there, Beaver Town, the brand, some, the social dough. Oh, there's quite a few actually. So lots of different food stands. It smells pretty nice. Another little bar over here. This is probably quite good if you um, say live work in the area to come and grab a drink. Oh, and we have a Joe Malone tree. Look at this. I mean, the backdrop, but the, like, what was that, 60s, 70s building? Yeah, that's okay, you can't have it all. Um, but that looks really cool, doesn't it? I know you lot like to see food. So yeah, we've got a Venezuelan rice bowl for the tenor um, and some other things. Yeah, so about 10, eight to 10 pound, I've noticed, for like a meal bowl. Some examples of the food as well. Love being able to see what I'm ordering. It's not really something you get in the UK, like a picture menu. Christmas trees for sale. I wonder if you can go on the Helter Skelter. 
I know you a lot like seeing a drinks menu, so we've got more wine for 7 50 uh, I can't remember how much they were at Winter Wonderland the other day. Uh, six quid for a beer, that's very standard. Um, spirits in the mixer, 9 50 I thought that'd be about nine. Um, some champagne, well, that's quite expensive. And wine, which is pretty standard. So in my opinion, a bit of a mixed bag, 3 50 for a Coke. Um, but yeah, we've got this yellow kind of container unit thing that's been transformed we've got utter waffle i really like that sign that's really cool so yeah warm waffles some hot chocolate ice cream calamari canteen buns wraps and plates i do like all these food trucks they're really fun fruit and chocolate and marshmallows i'm sure that's really popular a little joe malone pop-up here where you can get things um like personalized they've got like a little shop in there a Mac one. See, this is the thing you always get kind of branded bits, which I think is really exciting. Coffee and cocktails, that's a good combo, isn't it? Um, and then we've got an Indian street food gully, am I saying that right? And then a hot dog stand. My god, actually, there's a lot of food down here. Um, if you want to get I don't, reasonably priced food just off Oxford Street, this is probably a good idea. And then you end up at the cinema at Selfridges um, down at the end. You know what? That's a little bit better than I thought. I was kind of thinking it wasn't going to be that great. I do think. I mean, I'm going to be frank, they just need to put more seats out. This whole area here could have seats. Um, everyone's kind of stood around. Right, my hands are freezing. I didn't bring my gloves, so let's go inside. Oh, look at these people dressed up. You guys look awesome. Love it. It's a video. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We're helping for gave you some info. So that's the Christmas market on the Muse. Um, and they are, that's the opening time. But yeah. Good to get, grab some food. I've just come in the entrance, the side entrance, and look at this beautiful kind of flower display. They've got such sweet little things. So this is the brand, your London florist. How cute! Oh my gosh! I feel like corgis are like a major thing this year in London. I mean, why not? Nice little hamper display here. I've never walked in this entrance in my life. Where am I going to end up? Hands up. Well, they don't look very pink on camera, but they're really pink. Do you like my Christmassy nails? They're a bit tacky, but I quite like them. Right, I'm actually going to grab some stuff from Charlotte Tilbury, so I'll see you in a second. Okay, the music has died down a little bit. Oh, we've got a little bit of a Christmas number in the background. Um, so yeah, I know people moan, you talk too much. I might have to talk a bit more to not get told off by YouTube, but we've got a huge Santa here. That's terrifying. Oh, like in this tree, lots of random things going on. Um, I'm quite interested to see the decorations because if you've seen my other vlogs, I've gone to quite a few different stores now. So I'm interested to see what their selection is like. I don't need any more decorations. Um, I will show you my tree at some point. So what we've got here, Neon Disco, what? Neon Disco, £5,325. Is that for like everything on the tree, right? I've never seen that where they advertise the full, like the full works. Some beautiful different baubles. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I've ever really looked at decorations in here before. These are really expensive, £45. I mean, okay. <laughs> 
yeah, this is that brand that I've seen in quite a few different places. It's interesting because everywhere I can obviously price it how they want, but um, this beautiful sparkly uh, garland is 70 pounds. It's quite expensive in here. Like, I mean, it's salvages, but yeah, I mean, that large bauble there, I know that's clearly the same brand, but that's 110 pounds. I don't think I could ever spend that much on a decoration, because they, they smash, they break. I don't know, I don't really care for expensive stuff like that, but let's see if they've got any quirky things. They have displayed things into like themes. Um, they don't have loads in each section, um, but yeah, we've got a little sparkly giraffe there, which is really sweet for 24. Definitely a little bit more expensive than Liberty and Harrods, um, but we'll see what else they've got. The neon disco, I think, really probably summarizes the quirkiness that Selfridges has. Um, and they've definitely got some decorations, which, yeah, I haven't seen anywhere, really. Um, it's not meant to be. I'm not sure. Oh, is that just a carrier bag? I think neon disco seems to be quite a big uh, theme. Although I wouldn't say these are very neon disco-y. I do like seeing lots of decorations. Not that they're necessarily my personal taste. These are really funny looking. Um, but, yeah, decorations, to be honest with you, are probably a little bit out of my price range. Um, I don't mind buying a few nice things. I've got most of mine from John Lewis. They have got a London Christmas section, which I know you guys would like to see. Um, and it's quite nice to not see the same ones that I've already seen in other places. Um, well, saying that, it's that brand again. Um, but yeah, they've got their own Selfridges hamper, which is really nice to see. This I find a little bit weird because it looks like a like a New York taxi cab. Um, I'm not sure. That probably should be a black cab, surely. And you can obviously get your actual tree here. Um, I think, yeah, they were selling um, fake ones, real ones downstairs. Um, I mean, I don't really know how much trees are. Yeah, they've definitely got a lot of decorations that I've not seen anywhere else, which is really good to see. Oh, these are £12, they're a little bit more reasonable price point wise. Um, and some little brush animals. These are mildly terrifying, isn't it? It's kind of. Let's put you back. Right, I do need to get maybe like some paper plates and napkins. I always like to get like a couple of themed ones. Let's just see. They're quite sweet. They're a bit boring now, aren't they? Um, wait, what? Eight pounds. Okay. We're just gonna put those back because I'm really confused. Am I just being like really cheap today? This has got to be the most expensive Christmas shop ever. Like eight pounds for 20 napkins. Like, what, what's going on? Right, let's see how much a paper plate is. Eight assort, oh for God's sake, eight assorted plates for £11.50. Okay, we might not be spending too much time in here. Sorry guys, I'm being really negative. Maybe I'm just in a really bad mood, but I just, I'm really confused. £12.50 for some eco, eight eco plates. Like what? Well, I was gonna grab maybe a couple of things, but um, I need to remortgage my flat. Don't worry, we will go to the food hall at the end of this and I will be getting some stuff. On a positive, they have got this cool display of different crackers and stockings by the looks of things and recent garlands at the end. I always say every year that I'm gonna like make my own because you can buy them empty and just fill it with something, like a stocking filler that someone actually wants. But by the time you're having Christmas dinner, like no one cares about the presents, you just want like a silly hat and a joke, right? Whoa, the wreaths are pretty intense. I've not seen any like this with all the baubles. That blue one's amazing. Look at these. LED lit crackle ball, battery operated. Do these work? Oh, yeah, I can, oh, oh, that's quite sweet. Oh, this tree is beautiful. It's for good nature. Oh, you've got to buy it now. Um, yeah, that's really lovely. I haven't seen any with that kind of color palette and it can be yours for four grand. And then all the little bits that go with it, if you just want to get a little moment, like a couple of little candles. Oh, all I want for Christmas is you for 16 pounds. Um, yeah, and I do like the lights that they put on the ceiling as well. And then they've got a pick and mix bauble, so you can get like a box down there. Um, and then yeah, grab the baubles that you want. And a 12 pack of baubles is 55 pounds. I mean, I can't think why there's not a queue to pay. And then the tree at the end is wonderful. Love it. And the big soldier in the background there. So the toy section is next door. I don't really want to film too much in here. Um, but just wanted to see if there's any Christmas specific. And they've got this little quirky tree over here. Lots of like wiggly things on it. 
nice and different. I do like that some just do things really differently. Actual piano. That really does the scarf's head in after a few hours. Imagine coming to work hungover and having to listen to that all day. <laughs> Let's head on down to the food hall. But first, we buy some chocolate. Now this chocolate section isn't quite as big as the uh, Harrod section, but we've got quite a few different brands and some of them um, I don't really know. I'm not a chocolate connoisseur. I usually just buy like Cadbury or whatever's on offer at the supermarkets, but let's have a little look around. They have got lots of like grab and go stuff and I've just noticed. Look at this chocolate spread. Oh, that's probably an insult to call it chocolate spread. Um, this looks absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the really fancy one. Oh my god, the next heavy. Ooh, 27 pounds for that one and then you've got 13, well 13.99 for the little one. So I'd rather have one of these in a bauble. Selfridges have got their own selection um, and it is one of those things Selfridge is branded. I'm sure some of this is probably upstairs as well. Doesn't look too Christmassy. Definitely looking for kind of Christmas related stuff. Oh, we've got yeah. a few things over here. Uh, we've got a vegan section. Yeah, I think it's probably all priced similar to what I showed you in Harrod. Oh, marshmallow, hazelnut, praline. Praline? Is it praline or praline? I'm not sure. And yeah, this slabbed chocolate is definitely something that is more popular now. I mean, I quite like the ones that are from Hotel Chocolat. That's a good, uh, definitely a re relatively reasonably priced brand to get. Um, but it's quite busy down here. Oh, we've got some Christmas things over here. Hold on. Let's come over here. Christmas specific. I do love the packaging. Oh, I recognize this brand. It's got some of these, like, yeah, assorted chocolate raisins, nice little treat boxes. Oh, some nice nuts. We do have some dairy milk. I mean, I wouldn't buy it from Salvages, to be fair. Um, we've got a big chocolate Christmas tree from, I don't know, Cox & Co, I don't know that brand. Absolute giant Kinder Egg, and I've just noticed they've got Lindor over here as well. I'm sure some people are getting those for Christmas. They usually have like American, there's American stuff in quite a lot of places now, like these boxes are quite common. I think I've seen those in quite a few stores now. A little Hershey's moment at the end, but I'm going to be honest with you. Who's picking Hershey's over all of the rest of the stuff? I can almost hear it kicking off in the comments from me saying that, so we've got a uh, Godiva chocolate um, counter and that's some of the chocolates that I got the other day in Harrod but I really like kind of how open it is and yeah you can just have a bit of a mooch around it looks like they have also got some chocolate dipped, dipped strawberries I think they have these at Harrods but I totally miss them I know what everyone's gonna be like how much are they uh, a strawberry cone I don't really know what that is a tenner a fruit scoop a I mean you can read um, yeah I'm not sure what that is but the individual chocolates oh yeah like that should i get some so i'm getting a box of six and it's 13 pounds which i don't think is too bad yum yum indeed sorry i'm all my vlogs just seem to make everyone hungry and you might be asking who are these for they're for me <laughs> so that is for me and the lady did just give me oh a couple of cheeky white chocolates to have so that will keep me going and then yeah we've got venti again honestly i feel like this brand should be paying me the amount of times i've been talking about them recently um, but these are the guys with the awesome packaging i'm not going to show you again because i think i've shown these people honestly like 10 times they should be gifting me these <laughs> I'm loving the stand, Choco Fruit. Um, that was one of the brands that was outside. I probably didn't show it very clearly. Um, but they've got like a fun station here where you can get lots of different dipped things. Um, well, it's probably very similar to Godiva over there, to be honest. Uh, yeah, and I've seen a couple of people walk around with a cone. I mean, why not? And lots more packaged items. I, I mean, I think there's a lot more packaged items here versus, um, what's it called, Harrods and some more kind of normal chocolate. Is that the right way to say? Reasonably priced. And you've got a little lint. This is awesome. A lint pick and mix. I think a lot of people will be like, oh my gosh, you can pick your own. Because these usually only come in like a pack. You either pick like the red one is like the classic one. So there you go. You can see some of the boxes on the end there. I'll show you in a second. Um, I'm personally not like the biggest Lindor fan. I love them, but I definitely prefer slightly harder chocolate. That probably sounds really weird. Um, you've got loads of different flavors 
saying that, I've never tried a green one. I like mint chocolate. I think I'm of the minority. I do love mint chocolate. And these are three pound 40 per 100 grams. I don't know what that is in chocolate form. Yeah, so these are like the standard ones that you usually get. Um, I think, I've never seen the white chocolate one before actually. Extra dark, and these are quite often in the supermarkets. I think Ocado were giving away um, a box the other week actually with your delivery. Um, coconut, and then the assorted one is always popular. Has anyone tried this chocolate? Baki, Bachi? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Everyone's gonna be like, you're not saying it right, you stupid cow. Um, but I've seen this quite a bit. I feel like I've seen this on holiday. Where is this from? Somewhere in Europe, right? Maybe, maybe? look quite nice so it's a pack of three for three quid i'll just get one of those i'm not even gonna attempt to say that but this brand i didn't realize you can get like full bars of these i know you get like the little boxes wow i've never seen those they're huge it's like a uh, marzipan uh covered in chocolate We've got melt london i must remember i'm actually gonna go to the food court and get some food as well um but yeah more slabs all about the slabs we love a slab um and a few oh they look good I'm not sure I would pick orange slices with chocolate. Has anyone had those? Are they good? And then we've got sesame. Um, what on earth is this? Hold on, what is this? What is this? Um, it's pavla. I don't know what that is. Um, yeah. Has anyone tried this? They look quite good. I was thinking they kind of look like, I don't know, like marshmallows. Oh my gosh, chop on chop. Look at these. These are chocolate. Are they, I mean, I'm guessing they're white chocolate. Oh, that mushroom maybe not. It's milk chocolate. Look at these little baskets. These are adorable. And then we've got some little animals. So, gin and tonic. Oh my God, ice and a slice. Um, chocolate pie and pie. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. I mean, it kind of looks like a dog splat or a cow patch, shall I say, on camera, but you've got, can you see that? <laughs> it's like a, and like a steak and kidney pie with a pint. It's, it's a half a pint, unfortunately. How much is that? 17 pounds. I don't know how much I thought it would be. And this little, I mean, healthy number, that's 10 pounds. Oh my God, I'm getting that. Oh, there's more. Well, there's a few on sale from bre breakages. God, I can get words out. Little fish and chips. And then we've got, oh my gosh, look at this like a fab a rocket lolly a twister and a uh, strawberry split or something like that how much is that that's 12.99 oh okay which should i get okay i'm gonna get both i don't care of course there's even more they've got this whole section along here as well i swear this used to be coffee there's even more macarons okay how many macarons does one store need i'm not complaining I'm just saying it's quite a lot Let's have a look over at Carpo. i don't know what Carpo is but wow this looks amazing. Florentines. Okay. Which store to shop at? And just like that, I am now in the food hall. I actually didn't decide to get any more chocolates because I think there's going to be bits up here that I want to get. We've got a little Christmas display here with some different Christmas cakes, some mince pies. I've got this one from Harrods and Fort Mason, so I don't think I need any more. A little Christmas cake in there. Some classics. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of questions that um, a lot of people don't know what Christmas pudding is. Well, it's basically like a fruit. I'm probably describing this really badly, like a sweet fruit dome thing. That's a terrible description. I personally am not too much of a fan. Nice cherry and sherry jam, very nice. Um, yeah, this is all kind of traditional things that people like getting. So a little Christmas cake there as well. Alpine treats. <laughs> Um, yeah, I like making a um, like gingerbread house, but yeah, you can buy them fully done. I do like that they pull out all of the Christmas stuff here. So you've got Panettone and Pandoro, I don't really know what that is. Um, and some more Italian Christmas things. I do like a nice tin all over the store. You've got so many garlands and honestly, I dread to think how many baubles are in the store. I haven't really shown it too well, but they are everywhere. And then you've got kind of three kings, so three crowns on the ceiling there trying to film while there's a moment without 25 people walking through. We do have some American things here. So you've got little Oreo festive favourites. My God, people trying to open them. That's, that's really bad. Um, for 3 dollars which isn't too bad actually. Um, don't really know how much Oreos are normally. And a little seasonal tin. I think these tend to be in the supermarket now. They're eight quid. Just buy it Lola's cupcakes. I can't not show you the festive cakes. Absolutely 
gorgeous. I like the kind of rough quirkiness that Lola's Cupcake has. And they've got this little festive tin there. Wow. I mean, I think there's more icing than sponge. I definitely prefer sponge, but lots of people queuing. My narration is struggling. I can't really get my words out now. Um, yeah, what have we got here that is Christmassy looking? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hold on, let me put the basket down. This deserves a zoom. We've got a little Santa strawberry dome, a little polar bear, Santa belt, reindeer. It doesn't really say what they are, so these are the Elon Cafe ones. I think I got these last year. Oh my gosh, these look so cute. Look at them all together. And then there are a few other little ones here. You've got a snowman cheesecake. He doesn't look quite as cute. Oh no, he's in the walls, that one the fun. Um, but yeah, they are so cute. There's so many. There's lots of vegan um, cakes as well. So, I mean, look at that one. A cupcake with cream with a little like donut or something on the top. That's amazing. Cakes, cakes, and more cakes. Another little Christmas moments on the end. Um, yeah, but this is just like I say in the food hall. Oh my gosh, look at that one. That looks amazing. I don't know if you can see that from the reflection. This brand, Long Boys, they would, I think they were in Harrods. There's quite a few of these now. I think I saw one of them at um, Winter Wonderland as well. But they're these kind of like donut bun things. trying to see if there's any Christmassy cheeses or anything but I haven't spotted anything I do think those red tags that they had at uh, Harrods is a really good idea calling out what is Christmassy they've got these um, like berries over everything I haven't really spotted anything too Christmassy I'm gonna edit this back and be like oh Hannah you should have bought this little moon god do you remember when that was a massive thing and there was like a queue out the door of Selfridges um, what have they got this Christmassy um, They've got a candy cane one, I'm not sure about that. I, I personally never actually tried Little Moons. Are you a fan? Not gonna lie guys, I've been a little bit uninspired to buy any additional food. Um, but yeah, let's pay for these and um, go have a look outside. As the lights were changing, hopefully I got the thumbnail for this video, if not. It came out blurry, but um, I just went to the makeup section and I will insert now what I got. Right, super speedy haul. As you saw, I went to Charlotte Tilbury and I did end up getting this Smoky Eyes Forever palette. Um, it's like whichever one this is. It's pretty nice, along with an eyeliner. I usually wear liquid eyeliner, so I kind of want to try like normal eyeliner. Um, and then this like lipstick thing that they gave me, I think because I spent quite a lot. Um, and then I also did get two packs of these little um, lip glosses. I'll give one to my sister and one for me. Um, I'll open that in a sec. I then am also going to try their airbrush flawless foundation because um, I usually use a Giorgio Armani one and I want to try something different. And then. And I got um, literally my favourite fragrance um, ever, Baccarat Rouge uh, 540. I got the 30ml one. Um, that one's quite hard to find, so I'm quite pleased with that. And then um, I did get another box of the Laura Mercier um, like loose powder stuff. It comes with a puff now. I don't really need the puff, but that's the combo that it comes in. Little Christmas box. Dior Backstage something or other. I've already stuck my fingers in it to try it. Glow Face Palette. Um, yeah, I'll give that a go. Why not? But then as a present for my sister, um, she really wanted just like some normal eyeshadow colours so I've got her the Urban Decay uh, Naked 3 um, apparently that's quite a good one for like kind of bridal style makeup very natural so I know she'll really like that um, also yeah did I show you already my Christmas nails they're a bit cheesy oh it's probably really out of focus they've grown out a little bit sparkly and then from Dior um it came in another bag that had been like spritzed with spray as well which is quite funny it's like love actually um this gorgeous gift bag and then another gorgeous box and you can see on the back it's basically this set that's got like some face stuff um blush I was gonna say cheek stuff some blusher um and then an eyeshadow palette and then it's got like a lip palette as well and it comes in this cool bag I'll try and quickly open it and show you I think she'll really like this it's just nice um so you just kind of go like that Da -da. isn't that so nice so yeah hopefully she likes that and it's got like the mirror as well <laughs> did i insert it i don't know oh my gosh i'm very hot and sweaty after that trip to salvages um so i hope you enjoyed that little festive tour i think i didn't really get a lot but i've got a bag of like makeup and like 40 quid's worth of chocolate so i feel like that's a win um i did enjoy seeing all the festive um things in store and the decorations i think i'm just more of a like a liberty person um when it comes to decorations that you can purchase but salvages is awesome so yeah, if you're in the area, come and have a look, even just for the lights. Well, I say that as a massive bus going past. 
even for the lights, um, it is beautiful. And yeah, go check out the um, little, I was gonna say carnival, the little Christmas Eve, it's not really Christmas market, around the back. I think it's like a nice area to get some kind of casual food, grab a drink. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna leave you with a few scenes of this festive street. See you in a few days time!